I say bananas, you say peppers. And today, you guys, we are looking at something that I am so excited for and it's kind of like a 50 50 haul like some of these items came from japan actually like the big item came from japan and i'm so excited i can barely see it through the little bubble wrap and i'm so excited and then the other half of it is gonna be a little like i almost called it a micro haul i don't think that that's a real thing but a small haul of amazon stationary items but we're gonna go ahead and open the big item from japan first because i've had it sitting in like new package quarantine for like a week and a half I quarantine my mail. I know that that's weird, but I am so excited to uh, get one of these planners and test it out. So that is basically what it is. It is a planner. And you guys have to let me know if you've ever heard of these before, because I feel like this is one of those things where they're like, name something that seems like a cult, but it's not really a cult. And then people will like say like, oh my God, the thing on TikTok is those like nugget couches, which I think are like kids couches and it's like there's a whole devoted following for this like certain brand of couches I don't know it's kind of weird but the thing that we're going to be talking about today is Hobonichi planners and if you just type Hobonichi on YouTube you will see so many videos popping up and I have watched so many of those videos. I feel like I was like prepared. Well, actually I have no idea what that's like, but I felt like I was like preparing to like have a baby or something. I'm like researching for my new planner to come in the mail. But there are so many people that just like have Hobonichi channels on YouTube where they like devote their whole life to showing you awesome ways to like hack these planners, like different layouts you can do, like just the best way to use them. And I was like, like, well, all right, then I don't know how I found this particular one, but I did. Can you guys see him through the plastic? I'm sure you can. I have honestly thought about getting a Hobonichi brand. What What did I almost say? Bland. Hobonichi brand. Woo! Hobonichi brand planner for a couple of years now. I feel like I can't talk. My brain is not connecting. Mostly I was thinking about getting the Hobonichi, I think it's technically called Techo planner, but I always want to call it the Hobonichi Techno planner because that just sounds like blah, I'm gonna have a party while I plan just techno. Just blah. I saw that Hobonichi makes a pickles a pickles i'm saying that i'm screaming it to the heavens because i'm so excited a pickles themed hobonichi planner now honestly i do wish that they made this style in a larger size because like the hobonichi techo that i was just telling you guys about it's like a more standard like eight and a half by eleven sized planner and normally like i'm i'm a complete maximalist so the bigger the better for everything in life they only make the pickles style in the hobonichi weeks so as you guys can see it's this little bitty we are about to crack open the plastic but i'm just <laughs> savoring the experience and i'm so late to this party because i did not know that quite apparently they had a pickles theme in 2018 2019 2020 and now 2021 and they've all looked different and I ser I seriously wish that I had all of them. If you guys do not know, Pickles the Frog is like a special character and I'm gonna butcher the name so I'm just gonna type it up here but I think it's uh, pronounced Nakajima. I first discovered Pickles the Frog at Epcot actually <laughs> in Disney as I discover all things. They used to have like an entire Pickles the Frog section and Dogman has gotten me so many different Pickles the Frogs over the years. I love frogs and I love Pickles. He's just such an adorable character. 
So let's go ahead and take it out. Now, this is really interesting. I think it's like a catalog that shows you a bunch of the Hobonichi products. I saw this one too this year and I thought it was so cool. Hobonichi Astro Boy, can you guys see that? Seems like they also make like picture frames and other things, I had no idea. Anyway, um, so here is our super cute pickles planner. And then there are all of the pickles on the back. And that is so cute. So Dogman has gotten me several of the different colorways of pickles before. So some of these, gosh, but I've never seen the fuchsia one before. Now I want that one. Let's open it up. Oh my God, look at him. That is so cute. Does anybody read Japanese? Can you tell me what these say? What is he doing here? Oh my God, he's he's taking a picture. I don't know if the actual pages are going to be themed or if it's just these first two. Okay, so it looks like it's the standard Hobonichi Weeks layout in here. There's actually a couple of little bookmarks, green and blue. Unfortunately, not like pickles themed pages throughout. That would have been amazing. Oh, look at him tumbling. We have a couple more special pages like this at the back. And then this that came out is so cool. It's actually a ruler. I'm trying to find like a blank piece of paper. There we go. Cause it's um, transparent. I never, ever, ever know the difference between transparent, translucent and opaque. Somehow I still have not learned, but that is so cute. That is an adorable little bonus item. So yeah, this was unbelievably expensive. If it did not call to me on the level of my soul, I would not have bought this because honestly, the normal Hobonichi Weeks, they seem to be around like $20 and this was definitely more than that. So I ordered it from eBay and it came right from Japan, but it is so cool. So the cover is like kind of flexible. So that was like my big special thing. I just, I was so excited for this that I just wanted to have like a little unboxing moment with you guys. So the rest of everything else I got came from Amazon. The first of things being a cover actually for this guy because I want to keep the cover in like pristine condition. I'm excited to see like what I'm gonna 100% use this for. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos with a lot of like unique suggestions for how you can use this planner in different ways, like not necessarily just a standard like planner. And I saw an idea that I really loved, which was to actually use this as like a little daily journal. So you can just write down like a couple of like thoughts or just really like what happened to you that day, which I think is so cool. It's just a clear cover I'm trying to put it on without like hurting the planner. Okay, that fits in there like a glove. Look at that. Okay, so that looks really, really nice. The Hobonichi planners, I feel like most of them do have a specialty cover of some kind. I feel like that's why you probably want to get one of these like covers to just protect your planner. Anyway, um, so one of the things that I saw people doing that I thought was great was to use tabs to actually like mark where the months start on this planner. So I got these, which like how pretty are these Avery tabs? Look at that. They're so sparkly. Oh, and they say that they are repositionable. That is interesting. I thought that these were like permanent. This is the Avery Lux collection. These just had like a really everything feels retro to me, but like, you remember those um, sticker machines that used to be like at the roller rink or whatever, and you would put 50 cents in and you would like push this quarter, you'd push these quarters in, pull it out, and you would get a sticker, like a foil sticker wrapped in between cardboard. Do you know what I'm talking about? This reminded me of those like super sparkly stickers that I used to get 
at the roller rink. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one out in our next subject matter here. So let me test this out because I wanna see like how repositionable they are. So really, really like nice and thick feeling. Unlike those ones we just saw from Wish. Did you guys watch that video? So there that is. Oh, that looks so pretty. It does feel like it's stuck in there very nicely, but let's see. So far, so good. Ooh, definitely repositionable. It doesn't feel like it lost any of its stickiness. So that is pretty exciting. I wanted to get these and test them out before I just bought like a bunch of them, but I think that they do have them in a couple of different sizes and also a couple of different colorways that are still this like kind of like hologram sort of material. I would highly recommend these so far and they were like six bucks. So, and you get 18 of them. So that's pretty good. As promised, this is the next thing that I've got to tell you guys about. And I got this so many months ago. It was part of my first Jet Pens haul. And this notebook is amazing. You can order them on Amazon as well. They're from um, this brand, which I think is called <laughs> Lee Hit Lab. Do you guys see that? All you have to do is search up Aqua Drops. This thing is amazing. I feel like I've used this more than any other notebook that I've ever had in my life. It's so easy to just like open this. It's so easy. In fact, I just took it apart. So it's kind of like a notebook and a binder all in one, which I love because I feel like sometimes I'll make notes for a particular video that I'm filming and I won't necessarily want to take the whole notebook with me. Sometimes I'm like, I have notes for like hair dye or something. So it's like, I don't want to get hair dye like all over my notebook. I'm like trying to justify why you would need a binder or a notebook with removable pages. But anyway, um, I like to keep the notes that I make for different videos that I do. So it's just good to be able to like remove pages, put them back, etc etc when you get the little like binder notebook whatever we want to call it they don't start you out with a ton of pieces of paper inside i'm sure you guys can see it's like a super super slim notebook they have so many different colors like i love this kind of like fuchsia pinky purple color they have like teals lime greens yellow but i have run out of paper i've used like front back front back front back uh so it was time to get new paper. Now, um, I ordered this off of Amazon and it looks like it is going to be like name brand refill paper because the paper is like so nice and smooth. It almost reminds me of like the stone paper that we've recently been testing and talking about on this channel where it's like the paper that is made out of rocks. It just has a different writing feel to it versus like other regular notebook paper. Oh, I think this feels just slightly different. See, that's like the only drawback about like Amazon sometimes I'm discovering is I do think that there are like more fake products being sold on Amazon than I thought that there was. I ordered a um, campus notebook off of Amazon and I swear I got a fake notebook, which I know it sounds crazy that a notebook that people would be out there selling fake notebooks, but I swear that that is a thing that's happening because ever since I've really like heavily gotten into stationery in the past year or so, I've seen so many ridiculous fake products, like fake pens, Sharpies, fake notebooks. It's wild. So this is either like just a different style of the paper or it's fake. I don't know which it is. It looks real. It even says like pull open on the bottom. It seems like it's going to fit into this binder. So for that, I am very happy. There we go. Now my notebook is twice the thickness. So yeah, honestly, if you're gonna buy this, I would probably say order your supplies like this from Jet Pens. Then you know you were 100% getting like an authentic experience. I just ordered it on Amazon because I've been desperate to be able to start using this notebook again. And they had it like one day prime shipping. And it is just 
like filler paper so it's not that big of a deal. I think um you know the theory behind the aqua drops is that you can like get it wet and you know the water just like slicks off of it and that might be some of what is special about this paper as well. I keep saying it's kind of like the stone paper and it does have that same like soft feeling to it that makes me think that moisture would just roll off of it. Can I talk a little bit more about paper? Last but not least is something that I have super high hopes for. It is pins. I've been wanting to test these for Ever. They are the Pilot Juice pens, and I got the 12 color set. Ew, look at this one. This is so pretty. Ooh, it's called Light Blue. So this is what they look like. Very pretty. They do have these like grippy bits on the bottom. Oh, that's so weird. It's like the grip extends almost all the way down to the tip of the pen. Ooh, they've got those like balls on the end. I always love that for some reason whenever I'm using a new pen to like just pull the little waxy ball off the bottom. Oh okay juicy smooth gel ink ballpoint pen. Maybe it's the ballpoint art that I'm not loving. <laughs> I'm not that crazy about ballpoint pens so I don't know why I thought I would love these. Maybe because they said the whole gel part and they are so pretty. They're so pretty to look at. Does definitely write more. Look at that. You can't even see it. It definitely does write more like a ballpoint pen feel than a gel feel. So if you're somebody you really like, like for me, the pinnacle, the best pin that has ever been made is the Jelly Roll pins. So if you're somebody like that, you really like that thick gel experience, this is probably not gonna do it for you. <gasps> Ooh, and I feel like these colors, like some of them I did think were gonna be light, but I didn't think they were gonna be this light. Ooh, okay, this one's my favorite one so far, which is called Just Green. I'm gonna just go through and prime them all and do swatches so that you guys can see what you can maybe see of the these. Here are my scribbles. Ooh, they look so divine. I know. Some of these colors are honestly kind of deceiving because this one right here is called baby pink and it looks like it's gonna be one of the ones that you would maybe like be able to see the least and yet it is one of the more pigmented ones. Like one of the ones that's easier to see. I don't know, some of these are so pretty, but they are like basically invisible. And I honestly don't know what you would use these for because I don't feel like they are like gel enough that you could write with them on black paper where they would be visible. Because you know, sometimes like you use like the white gel pens on black paper, some of the neon gel pens on black paper, and they look amazing. Whereas they almost look invisible on white paper. But I'm like, where, where, where could I use this lime green one? I literally do not know. It is nearly invisible. Honestly, I think the prettiest ones are the dark blue. This one, which is called blue black, is honestly my favorite. And then the black. These three write the best and they are the most visible. I don't know. I guess this is one of life's little lessons. You know, don't always judge the pin by the look of the pin. It looks really pretty, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that crazy about the right. Somehow this video has been super, super, super duper long. I hope you guys enjoyed my little planner unboxing. Let me know if you guys are super into the Hobonichi Weeks. Ooh, I didn't notice there's actually quite a large section here. This is just all for notes. So this is just like free space. Highly recommend everything that I've shown y'all today. Really love these tabs. I don't know. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by little things. What can I say? Um, anyway, you guys, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back again very, very soon. 